Jyotishamapi Tajyoti. This is the fifth verse. From 13 onwards, 14 onwards, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, five verses are material for you to sit in the seat of meditation and turn your mind's attention in that direction indicated in those verses. So these five verses, if you have got by heart, in the seat of meditation you will know in what direction I must hold my mind's attention. <laughs> the last one. Jyotisham api tad jyotihi. Tad that is Jyotisham api among the lights. It is the light of all lights. Hmm. These stanzas or these ideas are there in all the scriptures. In every scripture in the world, irrespective of the caste or the creed or the prophet, in all scriptures, the Atman, the Self, the God, the State, the, the, the Lord in the heart is described as light. And the students who just read the scriptures without the help of a teacher, they understand, oh, oh Lord is a light. With that concept, they sit down for meditation. After a month or two of regular meditation, they get up and come to the teacher. Yeah. Swamiji, I have reached. <laughs> Where have you reached? I had darshan. I had seen God. Really? Hey, disciple, my, my prostrations to you. You have seen God? Tell me now. Privately. Hey, everybody go. Because he is going. I am going to get. Now I am going to be the disciple. Because he has already known him. Swamiji, what am I to tell you? It is very difficult to express. Yes, I have heard. In scriptural masters also say it is very difficult. But try to tell me something. On the 17th of September, in the afternoon, uh -huh. When I was sitting for meditation, huh? how, Sabji, how to explain? Oh, a ball of light huh? rolled from my right to right in front of me. It stood there in front of me. God. God. Ball of light. Then what did he say or what did he... He didn't say anything to me. He gave me his darshan, his vision. And then what happened? He went by the left. He left by the left. And he came by the right. Right? <laughs> and left by the left. Right? But God is immortal, eternal, immutable, changeless, permanent. Then how can He come and go? He should have permanently stayed with you, Swamiji. Lord, out of His infinite kindness, give me a darshan, a vision and gone. Now what are you thinking about? Now what is your experience? That is why I came to you. What? I want to complain about. <laughs> complain about seeing God. I, I am just telling you what happened. When I was thus looking at that mass of light, Swamiji, it is not this earthly, it is divine. It is something like 20,000 suns together came into my room. It was a terrible light. And I looked at it. I made a mistake. I should not have looked at it. Now I look at it. At that time, I heard in my medulla oblongata a grr, grr sound. Something in me has burnt. God went. And now what is the condition? I can't meditate. Whenever I sit for meditation, splitting headache. Why? 
grr, grr. But that's a chain of stupid imagination that the fellow suffers. And if you tell him that your God cannot roll up into you and then roll out of you, it is not a ball, it is not like... Swamiji, you seem to have not read our Upanishads. <laughs> all our Upanishads says he is the light of all lights and that is how what I see. Light of all lights has got a deep significance. This is not a word meaning. It is meant for only those who have purified the mind, they will understand. Because the teacher was talking to such pure people only. That's why this scriptural literature is called secret. This is not secret, you should not hear it. Unless you are prepared for it, you will misunderstand and understand it.